Parliament is going to be prorogued again. That's the topic of my today's video. So, let's get started. Hi there, I'm Mark and I welcome you back to my channel and I welcome you back to another Brexit video. The leader of the house, Jacob Rees-Mogg, today confirmed what German newspapers have been writing yesterday already, that Parliament will be prorogued again. As he talked about next week's business, it came clear that Parliament will be prorogued from Tuesday the 8th of October until the Queen's speech on 14th of October. This time it's only for five days and these five days are for the preparation of the Queen's speech. If somebody expected that opposition would uh, make some trouble about this because of the Supreme Court case regarding prorogation, that was not, not the case. The opposition even thanked the government that they only prorogue for five days, which is reasonable, and that this prorogation obviously has the proper sense this time. Nevertheless, there are some questions. Of course, when they went to the Supreme Court, there was a lot of discussion about taking away the right of Parliament to be in session to discuss the important topic of Brexit. But in the last two weeks since Parliament returned, you could not hear very much about Brexit there, except in questions after government statements. I mean, it wasn't easy to do that in Prime Minister's questions, because uh, since Boris Johnson became Prime Minister, he was there once, I guess, to answer Prime Minister's questions. And the next would be due next Wednesday. Um, won't happen because Parliament is prorogued. But still, if the House of Commons wanted to act against a no-deal Brexit, they obviously didn't do anything. So, the last two weeks, obviously, a lot happened regarding the normal legislation, which is important as well, of course, but many of the arguments of the opposition regarding the former unlawful prorogation, oh, you have to use the term from the Supreme Court there, are null and void, because they didn't use the last two weeks to do anything against a no-deal Brexit. But still, the new prorogation is a fact. I don't think anyone will say something against it. Parliament will be in session on Monday. As far as I understood, Jacob Rees-Mogg, they won't be in session anymore on Tuesday. And they will return for the Queen's speech on the 14th of October. That is three days before the EU summit. And there, the fate of Brexit will decide. As we learned now, Boris Johnson has sent his proposal to the EU. And he also now presented the proposal to Parliament. About this statement in Parliament and the reactions of the opposition, I will talk in my next video tomorrow. But for now, I just want to inform you about the next prorogation and about, let's say, the easiness of this prorogation in Parliament. For now, I just want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Otherwise, you might miss another Brexit video. But for today, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye-bye.